guys, what's up? I'm here with a pretty cool finding. The new update on Photoshop 2019 versus the 2018 previous version. The update was early October. And I just bought this iMac 27 inch. It has one terabyte Fusion drive. They're not the fastest, but what I was noticing, it was extremely slow to edit any photo. And I attributed it to the Fusion drive not being solid state. But then talking to my good photography friend, Wes, Morley. He also has the iMac 27 inch. He got it six months ago and he was saying, he was telling me that everything was lightning fast on the last update of Photoshop. And as soon as the update happened, things were extremely slow. Thanks to his insight, we kind of put our minds together and we're testing things out um, over the phone, kind of talking about how long it took for brush strokes of certain sizes to, to uh, show up. And we realized you can actually reinstall, if you look up here, you can reinstall previous versions of Photoshop by just with this drop down box here and going to manage. And then there's other versions. And you can download any previous version of Photoshop. So what I did is I downloaded the old version again, reinstalled all my plugins. So everything here between the new version of Photoshop and the old version should be identical. So I've got this image here. It's a B-roll image. It's not very good, so don't pay attention to that. It's the same size on both, 86.1 megabytes, as you can see here. So I've got the same image uploaded on both um, versions of Photoshop, and I wanted to demonstrate today with a white brush at a pixel size of 2,000 on both versions, the difference in speed between the two. So we'll start with the uh, previous update. If I just try to paint the entire image white, all the way from top to bottom, you can see the lag is very minimal. I also want to mention I have 8 gigabytes of RAM, so it's stock, it's very low. Now if you go over to the um, new version of Photoshop, same 2000 pixel size brush, and I do the exact same thing and I paint from top to bottom at the same speed, as much as I can control, look at that difference. I'm done painting, and it's still catching up. I even got the wheel of death, and it didn't even catch all the brush strokes. It missed here, and it missed here. And that's about an eight second lag between these two. It's still trying to catch up. My brush is now frozen on the screen. Thank you, Adobe Photoshop 2019, for proving my point. So once this program finally catches up, there's also artifacts where you get these boxes that we just saw there. Let's try a couple other things. I'm going to unlock this layer. So let's go ahead and make a copy. And then we'll make a merge visible. And another. And another. And another. And another. And you can see how quickly those pop up. Now if we go over to here, we make an initial copy. Merge visible. Merge visible. Merge visible. And it exponentially gets longer and longer before the merge visible layer pops up. So if I do as many merge visibles about this speed, let's see how fast they pop up. So not bad. That's pretty, pretty reactive. So here. Okay, it's done. So you get the point. I don't want to beat a dead horse. Um, Adobe, you'll probably never see this video, but you do need to fix this issue. For now, I highly recommend everybody return to the previous um, installment of Photoshop CC. Whatever updates they did make in the new Photoshop, it's not worth the lag that comes with it. All right, guys. Thanks for checking this video out. I hope this was eye-opening to you. If you were considering getting a new computer or updating your hard drive, think again. All right, see you later.